Top guy time. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 446 pounds, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, the revival. No flips, Byron. Just this. Tag team specialists. There may not be a better team in all of WWE right now than Dawson and Wilder. Great tag teams are on the same page. These two are in the same syllable. Like you and I, Corey. What about me? <laughs> Michael Corey, time to hop aboard the positivity bus because the new day is here. I hope your positivity bus drives right into a bridge embankment. And Take that their back. opponent, accompanied by Kofi Kingston, at a combined weight of 490 pounds, Xavier Woods and Big E, the new day. Derelict Big E trying to swim in the center of the ring. Byron, I thought you didn't eat carbs. Well, I make an exception for the New Day. Get it? Ah, New Day rocks. Come on, Corey, New Day rocks. You're not clapping. Nor will I ever. Big E's hips don't lie, man. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh, Tag team action is underway. Dash Wilder is a master of getting things back on track and executing his plan to perfection. While that's definitely true, Byron, Dash has had difficulty during singles competition. But I attribute that to mediocre officiating by the referees. Ah, oh, what a slam. He's looking at it. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Oh! Boom, what impact! This might be it! Oh, my! Dash Wilder on some offense now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. Oh, man, what a shining wizard. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Breaker. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar.
Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Scott Dawson on the defensive here. Headed into this match, he and his partner looked extremely oh, confident. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have, maybe the difference between a win and a loss, maybe even more. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. And a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. Still a lot more fight left. Oh, what impact. Tag is made. the midsection. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Oh, and it's a reversal. We know what this is. It's a stampede. What should Dash Wilder's mindset be at this point? His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Here he goes. This is it. Looking for all the glory here. And Wilder pops the shoulder up. Way too early. Just in time, barely. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Dash Wilder. Working on the leg. Oh, man, what a leg drop. Right in the mouth, relentless. Xavier Woods with a nice reversal. We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. Continuing to carry the opposition. And you have to wonder what the next move will be here. Crashing down the hard way. How can Scott Dawson be put on the offensive quickly here? Guys, this is where we find out what he's made of. The abuse his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like he enjoys the pain. Don't write him off just yet, guys. The honor roll! Here's his chance to win this. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Not sure how much he has left. I mean, guys, has Dawson ever truly produced an end result? Things have gotten worse for Scott Dawson. He, he fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? What a cutter! Oh, nasty impact. 
Xavier Woods in some trouble here. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. Yeah, but the good news is that he still appears to be in better condition than his opposition right now. Specifically targeting the leg. Man, Dash Wilder is talking up the storm right now. Scott Dawson is pulling out all the stops here. Cash Wilder is looking very critical right now. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. He's in a bad spot here, Cole. It's absolutely vital that he get to his corner and make the tag. Otherwise, this match is over. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can... Uh-oh. Is he done? Xavier, and he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Wicked clothesline. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. He's making a statement here with this attack. Not today. Beautiful technique. Boom, what a kick. I think we're going to get the... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Byron's feeling happy. Oh, oh, oh. Big E with a big ending. It's not Kenny doing here. And that's it. This one is over. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Almost forgot about this one. Yeah, he's putting in the work. He ain't playing here. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here are your winners, Xavier Woods and Big E. Nice teamwork by these two here tonight. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. And folks, if you just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.